Welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. This time around, I'll be reviewing Red Stripe Jamaica Lager Beer, 4.7% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled in the United Kingdom under the authority of Desnos and Gettys of Kingston, Jamaica. Now, what more can I tell you about Red Stripe? Well, uh, on the back of the bottle, it says that uh, with its roots dating back to 1928 in Kingston, Jamaica, Red Stripe Lager Beer has long embodied the rich history of Jamaica, its music, and DIY culture. Uh, the last time I had Red Stripe uh, would have been at least six years ago, and uh, I think I actually got the Jamaican version because it actually um, came in like a, a stubby bottle rather than this uh, long neck. Uh, anyway, I'm most keen to make an assessment of it now, um, having tried a lot of other beers uh, since that time. So without further ado, I'll uh, grab the trusty Kegworks bottle opener and pop the cap off. Some nice smoke there. Alright, and I'll uh, pour it into, well, what was a ice-cold Pilsner glass. I am following the directions and uh, serving it ice-cold, as recommended. So let's pour it out. Okay, a nice pour there. Alright, so let's make an assessment now of the appearance. Well, uh, the appearance is a very uh, clear, pale yellow colour. Yeah, very clear, pale yellow colour with uh, a fair bit of carbonation present there. Uh, it's got like a thick, soapy head. About uh, two fingers of head, in fact. Uh, onto the aroma. Hmm. The aroma is a grainy, grassy sort of aroma. Um, yeah, mostly grassy actually. Um, yeah, really does smell like uh, you know freshly cut grass. It's not probably the most pleasant uh, of aromas, but um, certainly. Not the worst. It's certainly, uh, yeah, not uh, you know the kind of uh, you know adjunct lager sort of aroma I was uh, expecting. Anyway, um, on to the most important part of the review: the taste test. Cheers to you all. All right. Well, it has a nice little hot bite to it. Um, yeah, there's some sort of sweet maltiness there, although it's, um, yeah, not as sweet as I probably would have expected. Um, a little bit of, uh, you know, breadiness uh, there as well. Um, it tastes uh, a little watery. It's, yeah, quite noticeably light-bodied. Um, I do have to have another gulp, though. Yeah, it's sort of holding that taste profile, um, although I'm finding it, uh, yeah, one, one thing that's really detracting uh, from it, uh, from the whole, uh, <clears throat> you know, taste experience for me is uh, that it does taste a little bit watery. Um, that's really, yeah, not really to my liking uh, all that much. But still, it's, you know, fairly crisp, clean and refreshing, uh, you know, as you would expect from a lager. You know, the finish is, um, you know, it's relatively dry. Um, you know, yeah, there's a nice little hot bite there too. I mean, there's no sort of, um, you know, horrid sort of, uh, you know, aftertaste that lingers in the palate. Um, yeah, but on that note, I do need to gulp some more before uh, I, uh, well, talk about its drinkability and uh, its rating out of 10. Alright, well, it's certainly, you know, a very drinkable, very sessionable brew, without a doubt. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, uh, you know, the best lager out there, but, uh, you know, I've tasted a lot worse. Um, yeah, I've tasted a lot worse. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess 
one thing I'm not enjoying is that it is, yeah, a little, little bit on the watery side. Um, yeah, which certainly, uh, yeah, detracts from the overall flavour. You know, there's a few things there that, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the sweet, you know, sort of bready maltiness is, yeah, it, it's nice, but there's just not enough of it. Um, so, what would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? Uh, well, I'd be inclined to give Red Stripe a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair assessment of it. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of yet another Swill and Grog beer review. So, until next time, cheers to you all.